HRS after NFL commissioning makes nasty kneeling decision, look what Trump just did to make him pay. The President of the United States has many jobs and none of them are easy. In the case of President Trump, his workload doubled when those who supported his opponent decided that they could disown and work against him. But despite all the cries of not my president, he still is our president, and no matter how many people kneel during the national anthem, he will still be the president. Contrary to what the media would have you believe, the president is working very hard to unify the country, but he's only looking to do it under the banner of the red white and blue. That's what we are all supposed to pledge our allegiance to, and it's what the president is sworn to protect. To that end, President Trump has been putting pressure on every single person who wants to disrespect that flag by trying to make sure that their employers don't tolerate it in their place of work. But despite his best efforts, the NFL teams are still going to allow their unpatriotic players to put on a racist and anti-American show before every game. Because of their lack of patriotism, the president has approved a petition and according to the Daily Wire, he's asking each of us to sign it if we'll be standing for the national anthem. On Thursday, President Trump, vitally concerned with the disrespect shown toward the national anthem that was triggered by former San Francisco 49er quarterback Colin Kaepernick, and later spread across the NFL, fired a warning shot across the bow approving a petition addressed to the American people asking who will stand for the national anthem. The petition can be found on the GOP website. It reads, the president has asked for a list of supporters who stand for the national anthem. Add your name below to show your patriotism and support. According to the website, the petition is paid for by the Trump Make America Great Again Committee, a joint fundraising committee authorized by and composed of Donald J. Trump for President Inc. and the Republican National Committee. It's sad that this even needs to be a petition and it makes one wonder what happened to get us to a place where we're differentiating ourselves by who will stand and who will sit. It used to be a given that you'd show respect, but now it's somehow a political statement. Since the left has made it unacceptable for their minions to have even a modicum of respect for our country, the president is looking to help those who still know what it means to love their country rally together. There's something very powerful to be able to know exactly how many people there are who still support the same values that you do. Unfortunately, many that run the NFL aren't in that group. On Tuesday, 13 players, owners of 11 teams, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, Vice President of Football Operations Troy Vincent, NFL Players Association Executive Director Amora Smith, as well as assorted other people, met in a conference room inside NFL headquarters to discuss the controversy regarding the national anthem protests and to decide how to move forward. On Wednesday, Trump had resumed his attack on those who would disrespect the national anthem, tweeting. In mid-September, Trump had triggered a firestorm when he stated at a rally in Alabama, wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bee off the field right now. Out. He's fired. He's fired, you know, some owner is going to do that. He's going to say, that guy that disrespects our flag, he's fired. And that owner, they don't know it, but, they'll be the most popular person in this country. Trump added that the NFL protests during the national anthem had exhibited a total disrespect of our heritage and everything that we stand for. Trump reiterated a few days later, this has to do with respect for our country, and respect for our flag. There are those who say that the anthem protest isn't what we think it is, and that it's just their own way of making a statement. Even if that were the case in the first place, the president made it clear what disrespecting the national anthem says to the world. If they had even stopped at that point, it would have shown that they still loved the USA. But of course, that only added fuel to their alt-left agenda. Thankfully, the president isn't one to back down from a fight, and he has just upped the ante with this petition. The country and the world are going to know just how many hard-working Americans still love this country. This country.